Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick uh, little video. I know it's been quite a while since I've done much, but uh, I know a lot of people sell on eBay, Etsy, uh, Facebook Marketplace, and other, you know, various online places. And a lot of us, you know, myself included, are small-time sellers. You know, you might do a few hundred dollars a year, maybe close to a thousand over the different uh, platforms, whatnot. Uh, previously, if you sold 20 grand or more and 200 transactions, then eBay or whoever would automatically report your sales to the IRS. You get your form, you know, you pay your taxes, whatever, and go on. Well, now, uh, that same thing, it still applies, except it's $600 a year. So you sell 600 or more on any of the platforms, you're going to get reported. Even if you have no other income, you could be on disability or retired, whatever the case may be, and you will get reported. They're trying to say this is a good thing. Makes it easier for people to keep track of their records. And I guess if you do the DoorDash and things like that, uh, if, you know, for either a full-time job or side money, whatever, that's also included, and you'll get reported. Now, in that instance, you know, if you're going to make some decent money and you're trying to figure out your taxes and all of that, you know, maybe that's a little better. I don't know. I think it all sucks, but nonetheless, it'll be up to the payment processor to uh, report you. So if you're bringing the money in through PayPal, then PayPal would report you. Uh, eBay, of course, they're doing their own payment thing now. Uh, well, they have been for a while. If you're not aware, or maybe haven't sold on eBay for a while, I'll uh, clue you in. Uh, you got to give eBay your bank account. That sucks, so I personally recommend go down to your local bank, wherever you deal at. Uh, just open up a separate account and don't do anything with it but eBay. That's what I do. But now, uh, if somebody sees something you got on eBay and they want to buy it, nothing changes for the buyer. They still go through PayPal or whatever. But eBay gets your money. A couple days, eBay will pay you. And it actually works out pretty decent. I've had no issues. Uh, you can set it up. One of two ways, you can pay the shipping costs yourself, get all the money from eBay and be done, or you can take out the shipping money uh, out of what eBay owes you and do it that way. Uh, either way, but I've had no issues. The fees actually end up being a tad bit cheaper because you're not paying a PayPal fee, and there's no more uh, monthly eBay fees either. You know, your final value fees you'd pay whenever. Uh, they take all that off the top, so the money that goes into your account, that's it. You're done. So that's kind of nice. But nevertheless, if you sell anything online, Taxman definitely wants to know about it. Now, if you sold it for a loss, say you've got, I don't know, whatever item, item X, that you paid... Hundred dollars for, you sold it for fifty, you know, whatever. Well, you can claim that as a loss, but you got to have a receipt or some hard proof that you paid hundred bucks for that item you just sold for fifty. It's not as simple as just finding what it's selling for online or finding it somewhere. They're not going with all that anymore. So. The tax people are saying, you know, what's the big deal? Nothing's really changing. It's just making it better, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, to be honest, most people that sold way below the reportable threshold, they didn't worry about it. And if you don't have at least twelve grand a year in uh, income of some sort, job or whatever, you didn't have to file anyway, so it didn't matter. Well, now... You got to file no matter what. 
They're trying to guilt trip you. For people doing the right thing, this makes no difference. Whereas you got companies like Amazon that are making multiple millions of dollars and, you know, they don't pay hardly nothing. As well as other, you know, big companies. Not to solely pick on Amazon, but, well, it is what it is. So, no matter where you take your money through, PayPal, it's got Venmo, which is owned by PayPal, uh, eBay, Facebook, whatever... Uh, they're going to hit you, so, like I say, if you sell online anywhere, uh, be prepared. Not sure, you know, all the details on this, but as far as, you know, how much you'll have to pay in taxes or anything, don't really know, but it'll definitely be reported, so it's just another extension of government digging into your business when they don't have any rights really to know what you're doing. You know, taxes, you pay them. It's supposed to be with representation, but everything's so crooked now that, well, it's outright theft, in my opinion. But before I get on too much of a rant of that, I just wanted to throw all that out there, and I will pin a comment, as well as in the description of this link, uh, that I'm referencing so you can look into it and do further research on your own. See how it's going to affect you. So take it easy guys. Stay safe. And I'll catch you on the next one.